Hey everybody, Steel here. So it's a uh, Friday night. What we do on a Friday night is we build cars. So I am working on the Catamino tonight. I am cutting the tubs so we can get that done tomorrow. Excuse me, I got uh, one of them already cut. I'm gonna show you how I do it. These are, we'll turn this around. Trailer fenders I buy on the interweb. Uh, I like them because they have a nice rolled edge. And I use these on my um, cars on the front. I use them for the inner fenders in the front. And I use them for the tubs in the back. And for 140 bucks, wherever they are, it's a hell of a deal. So, I'm going to use the inside area, this area here, for the uh, Impala. And I'm going to use the outside here for the Catamino. So I'm going to cut this off at 3 inches, so I have 2 inches of overlap on a 16 inch strap I'm going to put around it. So I'll give it 16 inches of tub on to go up to what is already existing in the car. And then I'll put a, a blank piece on the inside as soon as I figure out how big I need to make it. And it'll have wheel tub with a nice rolled edge on the side. What I did was I made this ingenious little device. So I measured three inches from here to here. Made a little line. So what you do is just lay them down on the ground. So on the ground like this. And you get a nice three inch line all the way around it. Just like that. So that's kind of an example. Over here, you can see they already cut the one side off, and there's the other side for the cattle or for the uh, Impala, which I'm going to pick up on Monday. So we'll put that back in there pretty soon. In the meantime, I'm going to do these dudes. So, so I have all weekend with no Impala here, as far as the the um, body swap car Get out of light. so uh, I decided I'd get as much as I can done on the Catamino I think I can get the tubs in it and probably the two main beams for the um, the uh, fifth wheel or the gooseneck uh, hitch I'm going to put on it um, I'm going to put I'm going to put another frame inside of it you'll see when I'm done it's, I need to have as much strength as I can to carry what I want to carry. Because I'm thinking about carrying like a double car trailer in the back of that turkey. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, we won't be able to climb a lot of hills, but, you know, around here at the car show, pull up with a whole bunch of cars in the back of that Cadillac, look pretty badass. <laughs> so, anyway. So, I'm going to get the, uh, the, um, the straps. I made the 16 inch pieces on those, uh, curved pieces of tub and I'm going to get those clamped up and then get them ready to start welding and get those welded up for tomorrow. So uh, I'll check back with you in a minute. So there's a 16 inch piece we've had I uh, cut down at the metal shop because it's a bigger piece than my shearwood handle and let me stand this up. You see, right, the piece off of the tub, I cut it at three inches, and then I measured back two so that we get the weld right here on this rolled edge here. And uh, when I grind it off, you can barely see it. So it's clamped around with the C-clamps. I'm getting ready to weld it on right now. Um, it wants to pucker. Ah! Most of pucker like right here and right here. So I'm gonna clamp it, move this clamp around, zap it, get it tacked in place, and then go ahead and weld it around. So that one's done, like I said. I'm gonna finish this one up, and then I gotta go drop the axle out of the back of the car and um, get these fitted in there, get some trimming done on those existing tubs. And hopefully by the end of tonight, I'll have the tubs at least 
position in place for the mock-up. All right, bye now. Here it is, all welded up, ground down. Ready to go mock up into the car. We're getting ready to do that now. So I'm in the back of the Cadillac right now. And I'm going to start cutting wheel tubs out. I'm going to trim these back to here. Cut them all off. And um, probably going to go on the outside. The tub, that's going to go inside, but it starts dropping off pretty quick on the inside here. So, uh, Turn this around. So you see it kind of flats off up here and kind of drops off in the back here. So I'm going to run the wheel tubs basically in the back here. The new uh, inner corner pieces will go inside here. So it'll cover all that up when it's all done. So uh, i got to trim this, this in here a little bit. Back because the quarter doesn't want to come in. It's not going to cover all this up. So I come down inside here, cut this off, come down here, get this all flattened out. It kind of leans in right now. You can't really see in the picture. Hard to see. So I need to cut that out and then um, lower the axle back down again, take it off the blocks, and then put the tubs in and position everything and see where we're at. I'm going to pull this trim off the top here and the fin, off the fin trim and the taillights. Start getting all this extra metal out of here. And then um, start attaching new quarter panels. See you later.
got the we got the first tub basically in place. Need a little more trimming tomorrow. It's pretty close though. It looks pretty good. The massive bastards. <laughs> so I'll get this one uh, trimmed out tomorrow. I've got a little more piece on the front here. I got tilt it's kind of tilted in a little bit. Needs to go in another I don't know, probably three quarters of an inch. On the front, the back is pretty much ready to go. Um, other side, I got to trim out and then put it in there. I'm going to pull this trim off tomorrow and start getting this crap off. And then um, putting those quarters on is going to be a bitch because I got to figure out how to cut the curve out of them without going too far, you know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, I got to figure that out tomorrow. In the meantime, I got some stuff done, finally. And tomorrow's all day caddy day. Well, I gotta go deliver an engine tomorrow morning, but other than that, I gotta it's all caddy. All right, so I will see you all later. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, and I'm hot to work on the uh, Catamino. I got one side of the tubs cut and fitted. Uh, I'm going to uh, match up the other side. Let me turn this around. So I got this, here's, this is what it looks like with the uh, inner tubs trimmed out. Took a few times, a few cuts to get it close to that. It went a little too high, but I'll fill it back in again. Uh, you can see there's little, little inches at the top there. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to match up to this one now. And, and I'm gonna trim it back to this one back to match that one. And then hopefully it'll fit right in and uh, I can start filling in the inside areas. So, this is the inside, so I'll make a pattern with a pattern paper and then uh, go cut a piece of uh, metal for that and get those welded up. So I think after I'm done getting the floor built out for the bed, I think I'll go ahead and pull the chassis out of it and go ahead and get it powder coated. Um, or at least sandblasted and then, because uh, it's just, yeah, it drives me crazy when it's all rusty and all that new metal. So, um, you never see it again, but uh, I want it to look nice. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull the body off it. We'll just do the body off the off the car. I want a rotisserie anyways, probably. So, while the body's getting done, I'll get the chassis uh, blasted. Um, I am going to turbo the 500. I have, I bought all the turbo stuff for that. So, we're going to do a put a turbocharger on a, a sniper system on the uh, Cadillac 500. So... It should be pretty sick. We can climb some hills then. Do some vacation. You take it out to Vegas and show it off at uh, at the uh, Rat Rod show out there. So, uh, and other stuff here and there. Maybe make it a SEMA next year. So, anyway, uh, I did my hair this morning because it's, you know, Sunday. It's Sunday. No do hair day or no hat day. <laughs> so, anyway, back at it. I will check back in a little bit. Adios. So we got the uh, trim off the top. I got the curl, the tail lights out of it. I'm getting ready to start cutting. So I want to show everyone what you gotta do. So let me turn this around. So I removed the lead that was in here because I think what I'm gonna do is cut it like a, a half inch in. So I have to get into the into the wording workings of the tail light and everything will still line up. So I'm gonna cut it in about a half inch, come down here and then well on top of this piece where the lead was it'll be even that way <clears throat> and it saves a lot of bs later on so now i'm gonna go down the top here and get all these uh spot welds cut out i'm gonna trim this excess crap off first and i'm gonna go down here and get all this stuff off and hopefully get the uh the um quarter panel clamped on here tonight and then start uh trimming it out for the wheel tub i'm gonna get this one side done first i think and then do the other side that way, whatever problems I come into, I won't double my problems. So, anyway, we'll talk to you later. So, there's the back of the frame as it exists now. I already made it pretty stiff. I put some, it's got two by fours in it. I, it's fully welded. I'm putting some torque or some uh, torque boxes in the front there to give it some more strength. It's got some four by four, it goes up, connects to that two by five up in front. It's all 120 wall. Uh, it's all good metal. So, what I made was. what I call a spine. 
is that dude. Now that's just sitting there. I'm going to tack it together and set it in place. It's just uh, cut and fit. I did. I took some cardboard and made a template. And I made this off the template. So, uh, anywho, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tack this thing in place in, into one piece. And then uh, this the, the back rod here is still a little long, so I'm going to have to cut it back yet. But um, I'm going to tack it and then set it in there. Cause you, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this is only one side. It'll have two sides to it and um, with about six inches in the middle, seven inches in the middle of it. So as you can see, we got this side trimmed out. Got this, all the stuff off up here. We got it kind of half mocked up. We got to do a lot of work yet to get that fitted in a little better. This over here is much closer. Um, getting ready to get that all fitted in. We got the wheel, the, uh, the wheel, well, wheel tub in place. That's basically where it's going to be at. Uh, trimmed out the inner quarter panel fin whatever you want to call it got that sitting pretty good that took quite a while quite a work that was a pain in the ass um hopefully this side won't be so much work anyway uh so we got two rails down here as you can see these are two by five um 120 wall beams that i call a spine uh to give this thing some extra uh strength the flat area up on top up there you'll see is going to be for the uh the gooseneck hitch and another surprise I have coming up later on this week. Um, I'll show you guys. But uh, anyway, we clean all the the um, extra crap off the back of the axle that we didn't need anymore, and um, uh, uh, got a lot done today. Uh, I I did the rails while Mark did most of the trimming over here. Got this all taken care of, um, and then we did this together over here. Got the tub in place and got that situated. So. Anyway, we make a lot of progress. Uh, next week, hopefully, we'll get the other tub in and uh, finish up the uh, getting the spine installed. It's just sitting there right now. We got to do the welding in the front and back and across the top up there where the uh, spring pockets are at. And we got to start making uh, getting the um, airbag uh, bracket set in place. So uh, uh, we'll start getting all that set up. Like I said, next week, and uh, that'll be our progress we make. So. Uh, Anyway, from here you can see the the jet pontoons on both sides. <laughs> I don't know, something different. I don't know, man. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. It's cool. Um, but at the end of the day, it'll look a lot better when it's all molded in and primered, and the floor's all done, and you know the bumpers in the back of it. And you know, right now it's kind of a cluster, but I, I have a vision, and we're going there. So uh, I will uh, talk to you later. Hey, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Bad Chad. I've been watching his videos lately, and I guess people have been giving him a lot of grief about his stuff he's building. And you know what? It takes some balls to do some of the stuff he does, man. I like to see some other stuff people do the kinds of things he does, or we do, you know? Um, at the end of the day, we're artists. Either like it or don't like it. It's, it if you don't like it, move on. It's fine with us. I'm, I'm not here to make everybody happy. I'm here to make me happy. And I'm sure he's there to make himself happy, you know? So, uh, anyway, uh, like I said, I want to give a shout out to uh, Bad Chad. I think he does some really cool stuff. Uh, and, uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Bye now.